pronghorn have long been taken for granted in Wyoming, and it's easy to understand why. Population estimates from 2012 taken by the Wyoming Game and Fish show over 407,000 antelope live in the state, so there's nearly as many of them as there are of us. But in some regions of southwest Wyoming, pronghorn numbers are below population objectives. In one of the largest pronghorn studies ever done in Wyoming, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department recently captured 130 antelope near bags to determine what, if any, impacts oil and gas development has to pronghorn populations in the region. Game and Fish biologist Tony Mong works in the bags area. Gas and oil fields are, are a place where we actually see pronghorn uh, using those areas quite a bit uh, after the development, development has come in. So we're really just trying to look at how gas and oil may or may not be impacting pronghorn and how they live their lives and uh, in their reproduction and how they're able to move or, or not move through these gas and oil fields. Pronghorn are easily stressed, so it requires captures be done quickly with as minimal stress to the animals as possible. Helicopter crews net gun the speedy animals and get them to stations close by where a range of tests, including weights and measurements and an ultrasound scan, offer researchers a better idea of the animal's overall body condition. We also take blood for looking at pregnancy as well as disease. And then uh, we uh, put a collar on, and those collars are actually those GPS collars. So uh, they use a satellite system up above us that um, allows them to actually get a location of that animal. And all that information is then stored on the collar. Researchers will track the collared pronghorn this summer to monitor their behavior and fawn production in areas of both developed and undeveloped areas. This study will give researchers data on which segments of energy developed areas pronghorn use more than others and if development is having any impact on the overall health of pronghorn herds. British Petroleum, Black Diamond LLC, Devon Energy, Warren Resources, and Samson Energy are contributing funding to the study, along with the Bureau of Land Management, University of Wyoming Office of Academic Affairs, Wyoming Reclamation and Restoration Center, and the Wyoming Governor's Big Game License Coalition. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.